Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here, and I apologize for the lack of game audio because what happened is I recorded this whole part and then realized it wasn't recording with my microphone, so I apologize. Instead, you're getting a new track by me, Crystal Vision, called Luxury, which I uh, recently finished, um, and you can check out parts of how I made it on my Crystal Fisher D with a D on the end channel. Anyway, so today we're here doing post commentary, but I don't mind because you know what, this is Speed Freaks, and Speed Freaks is awesome. So, today we're here in Skate Park, um, and by the way, I'm going to try and emulate what I was saying before, because I tell you, I'm disappointed, because I had a fucking awesome conversation with myself, of course, but, you know, yeah, um, I was going to say, Skate Park, not glad to be back here, um, by any means, but, you know, um, it's cool, you know, it's a skate park, um, and, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a skate park, and, um, we're using the golden wheels, so it's, it's fast, you know, it's high octane, um, we're gonna beat the level in under 45 seconds, so, pretty impressive, how much time is it? And it's 41.5, not bad, not bad. Anyway, um, you know, I was gonna say something about, um, you know, sports in general, um, you know, and how, you know, this is obviously a skate park, and, you know, I, I guess I kind of want to encourage people, I'm not like an influential person, I don't think, you know, people subscribe to me on YouTube, thank you very much, but, you know, at the same time, you know, I don't want to see myself being some role model, you know, you know, swearing all the time and shit, there we, and shit, there we go, you know, becoming a, a part of my everyday language, but what I was going to say is that I do actually encourage people to play sport, like, I actually played a couple of sports, like, you never think of me as being one of those sporty types, like, you know, usually video gamers, they're, you know, like, if, if you can even call myself a video gamer, but, you know, gamers, you know, they, they, they're usually like, oh, fuck sports, and all that stuff, and I think, I think people should be less like that, you know what I mean, I, I understand that sport can sometimes bring up shit that they may not have liked about their childhood, you know, a lot of times getting picked last and shit like that, which, by the way, never actually did happen to me, because we never really did that sort of stuff, but I think it's all about kind of finding what sport you want to play, you know what I mean, like, I used to play, um, badminton, and I am still playing that actually, so that's quite fun. Badminton's awesome. Um, and then I also played squash. Started playing that from like year year nine onwards. After we did it in PE once, physical education. And I was like, you know what, this is awesome. So like, then me and my friend Brad, we used to go down there every Tuesday and have a game. And then next year at school, in year ten, um, you know, they had it as a sport. So I'm like, yeah, definitely playing this. Um, and I was trying to get one of my friends uh, from YouTube, Mr. Fraser Films 2009. Shout out to him. Uh, I'm trying to get him to play, but, like, I don't think his mum, like, wanted him to do that, to, like, take away from schoolwork and shit, so, that was disappointing, so, but, yeah, but, now squash is awesome, and I encourage, like, yeah, trust me, there will be at least one sport that you're good at, uh, that's the, that's the way I look at it, um, and, no, I'm not getting paid by people to start plugging sports, but, you know, I don't know, sport, you know, give it a go, you know, I used to be kind of, like, a eh, sport, you know, but then, you know, I guess, it, yeah, I mean, I used to play basketball, um, which was a lot of fun, and I played that from year four, so fourth grade, to eighth grade, year eight, um, and what happened was, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing that, that was an awesome sport, the problem is, it just became dominated with hogs, do you know what I mean, people never passing, it's all about them, and that's the problem with basketball, and you know, soccer as well as that, like, people just don't pass, people are just so fucking hogging, so I'm like, you know what, Fuck that, I can play outside in my backyard or something like that. Ironically, I can't anymore, but because we recently got a, like a mini golf course put in the backyard, in the front yard or whatever, um, which looks pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm playing like mini golf out there, it's awesome. I can't wait to have a game with uh, Nintendo 64 and Andrew Ratchet 5 when they come here in less than a week, uh, in a week or whatever, by the time this is uploaded. Um, so yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, anyway, now, yeah, we're in Gold City now. Sorry about going on about that, I'm sure you guys probably didn't give a shit, but whatever. Um, actually, it's funny, we, we completely avoided having to talk about Skate Park, which is great, because, you know, who wants to talk about Skate Park? I will say one thing, I used to skate when I was a child, and by used to, it was doing five second manuals, and not even compared to Master and Ollie. So yeah, I did it when I was like four, like, I don't know, I think it was like 10, 11 years old, and I like skated, I got this like $13 skateboard, I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I'm like, I gave up and broke and shit. And actually, that reminds me, it's a good time to plug my friend, um, uh, Adam Davis, um, who's a good friend of mine, a crazy kid, in a good way, in a good way. He actually skates, he's actually got a YouTube channel, uh, Skate Radelaide, which... It's pretty awesome. I actually suggest you go check that out. Like, 
the videos he actually puts together are surprisingly good. Like, I wouldn't advertise it if they were shit. You know what I mean? I don't believe in that sort of crap. But, yeah, good friend of mine. Shout out to you, Adam. Much love, of course. Um, but, yeah, oh, Grand Rapids, here we are. A level that I do like as well, even though it's you know, challenging as fuck. But, you know, you have to expect that. Um, and, oh, that was a terrible turn by me. Jeez. It's funny. Um, I've never been down that other way. The, the regular way, I've always taken the shortcut. I don't know whether by the end of the LP, maybe when I'm reversing my brother in the part, next parts for um, multiplayer, hell yeah, I'll be able to play, you know, yeah, I'll be able to take the full tra trip because, you know, I guess it's kind of fair because, I mean, I have a lot more experience in the game than he does, you know, so, I mean, you, you know what direction it's going to go. I, I think it's safe to say Mr. Fisher will be winning this time and next time and for the next six parts, so... That's going to be funny. I bet you guys are going to be bored as hell, but you know, whatever. Too bad. Don't have to watch it, you know. But once again, I do appreciate all the Speed Freaks viewers. I know they're not as crowded as they were in the first few parts, but Speed Freaks is awesome. So anyone that's watching it is 100%. You guys are my, one of my favorites, you know what I mean? Like, this isn't a game I expect everyone to want to watch. You know what I mean? And I remember Bacon Gamer said he didn't look like the best game, but, you know, he's still watching and I think, hopefully... Uh, obviously he's watching now. Hopefully he can appreciate the, the, the art style and hopefully you guys in general can appreciate this game because it is a very good game. I do recommend playing it. Like it, In terms of controls, it's not as good as CTR, but it, it's one down. Like it's ten times better than Mario Kart. I'm just going to say that now. Sorry fanboys, but it is. Get over yourself. Mario Kart's controls are average, especially the N64. Um, and that's coming from someone that apparently knows his shit. Anyway, on to uh, Sunset Isle, the final level, the final time, and I'll give you a warning now, I do, I play absolutely crap, like, terrible, I just want to point that out, um, oh, perfect start, second perfect start in a row, so, yeah, so, um, what could I say, there's a lot of waterfalls, you know, as I said before, but, I mean, look at that, you know, final levels, and you look at, you look at Sunset, you look at, um, Grand Rapids, and how cool is that, like, I wish I could live in a place like Grand Rapids, I mean, that's cool, like, the, the huge rapid, you know, the main section, honestly, that is cooler than the Trevi Fountain, because, it's, you know, it's natural, you know, obviously, the Trevi Fountain in Italy, in Rome, which I've been to, magnificent, there's a classic photo of me there, with, like, bushy as hell as fuck hair, like, fucking, it's insane, you, you probably wouldn't even be able to recognise me, but it's, it's actually quite funny, just for the sake, for the sake was actually when I was kind of in the puberty stage, like 14, you know, so where I started to get tall, drop my voice and all that shit, because if anyone that's been subscribed since like 2010, you'll see that um, when I got back from that trip, it was all of a sudden like, hey everyone, a bit, yeah, a bit much lower, obviously not as low now, but yeah, whatever, that was pretty funny, I have to maybe post the picture somewhere, actually not, I'm going to post it right here, right now, there we go, look at that, yeah, how adorable slash retarded. It is a very retarded photo. I'm very embarrassed to even have it up. But, um, yeah, classic Fisher. Um, so, yeah. Oh, crap. Crap. Yeah, not doing very well. I don't understand. This really isn't much of a shortcut, to be honest. Yeah, great. Bloody hell. Top down view. Yeah, like, it's not like the. It's not really a good shortcut. Like, it's just tedious. That like, going. Because, like, the way it works is. The way you have to travel to the next bridge, the second bridge, is kind of like a jilted way. It's like you have to kind of like, almost like just move left without moving forward. Like it's kind of like, it's really, oh shit. It's like you can't really go diagonal and get to it easily. It's hard to explain, but yeah. Definitely not an easy part of the level. Um, there's no easy part of this level. Actually, it's just non-stop agony. Um, but all those mistakes and falling off twice has cost us big time. And that's, by the way, the first time I've ever gone down there. Which, really, if you look at how fast I was going, that really, you can get a pretty great boost from that. But the problem with boosting there is look what happens. Yeah, boom, straight into the water. A great start. At least we were near a, um, at least we're near a, a nice waterfall, you know. You know, it would be nice. Okay, yes. We've overtaken Cosworth. I mean, we've overtaken old Cosworth. We are speeding ahead and great. As expected. I'm sure you guys expected that, didn't you? Come on, you did. I know you did. Um, but, yeah. 
fuck this level. There you go. That, that was my pause. That was my pause. It just wait for a minute and then just go, yeah, this level equals G is in community. Right, Christian? There you go. Anyway. Okay. I know. It's, it's, it's funny. It's Christian's uh, worst thing. It's you've got Christian uh, loving Cosworth and as do I, we share that. And then Christian hates community. So, oh, what's he going to do? Watch or unsubscribe, you never know. Cosworth is a pretty good selling point as far as I'm concerned. And that concludes it. The second time we're going to be here out of the... We'll be here two more times, so awesome. So I'm going to skip like that. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. As usual, of course, I hope you enjoyed the music in the part, uh, which is done by me. And I shall see you in the next part. Good bye.